Today I'm going to finish the work that I started on the outside of the house. This is going to be the last project that I do outside and then I'm going to move back into the house. Let's take a closer look at the damage that we're going to repair today. I'm going to put some stucco material or shukui on the top part of the house because it's very damaged and I'm also going to paint some of the trim around the windows and some of the metal siding portions of the house. These areas uh, need a little bit of attention as well as I'm going to do a little bit of gutter work. Join me on my adventure to renovate an old house in Japan. I'm not a fan of doing gutters. I've done them in the past and I know as one person they're kind of very difficult. I'm just not very excited to do it. I hope that everything that I do here today will give it a nice cohesive finished look. So let's see what it looks like in the end. Let's get started. The product I will be using for the outside wall is called Hei Nureru. At least I think that's what it's called. It's a pre-mixed type of plaster. There are many kinds on the market. I just happen to choose this one. I have a metal trowel to apply it, my trusty Loctite foam to fill the gaps. I'm going to spray it and then cut down the excess. Originally, I intended to use color powders to change the color of the actual plaster, but I abandoned that idea. I started by applying the foam. Oh yeah, I forgot. Gloves. Once the foam is applied, I'll let it dry and finish expanding. Then I'll come back and cut down the excess. The plaster should go right over the old wall with no sealer needed. Or so it says on the actual bucket. Let's see what happens. Here I'll just cut down the foam to make it flat and we are ready to put on the plaster. The bucket was impossible to open. You might need a blade to help. The type of plaster I am using is a chunky type. Like chunky peanut butter. Or does it look like cow manure more? I don't know, you be the judge. But I like the shade of gray that it is. There are many different surfaces here. Smooth, rocky, woody. I really hope the stucco holds onto all of these surfaces. There's lots of layers to these walls. There's a mud layer, you can see a hay layer, and what looks like small river rocks in some areas. Like this one. I kind of like this rock. I think I'm going to keep him as a memento. Or is it a dinosaur egg? Anyways, let me just pull it right out. All washed up. Welcome home, my pet little rock. The gutters were rusted as well as the mounting hooks that held them. Some rusted completely through. Honestly, the gutter install isn't that exciting. So let's just sum it up. Buy new gutters and hooks. Rip the old ones out. Keep trying to take the old gutters out. I sat there and I hammered and I pried and I smashed and I did everything I could to actually try to take those brackets off and come to the realization that it's all rusted and impossible to take off. Since it's all rusted in place, time to get a big reciprocating saw and cut them down into submission. It's just one hand in the Measure, measure, measure. Cut, cut, cut. Drill, drill, drill. Bim, boom, bam. Finished. Thank you.
peach jelly. Mm. Oh my God, gutters. They are so difficult to do just as one person. They're so long and it's just very difficult to hold it up as one person without the other side falling. It's such a frustrating DIY project when you're just one person. So my suggestion is to have a helper as well as don't forget that harness. Back to the stucco, it was like chunky peanut butter on toast. It doesn't want to hold on to the toast unless you apply a good amount of pressure. After that, it grabbed on just nicely. It's a heavy material, so be prepared for your arms to get tired. The area that went over the wood had a different look and it cured differently. I'll go over it later with more stucco material. I saved a little just for that. I'm also painting the wood trim and details around the windows and siding. I'll use an ebony oil wood stain for the window trim. I finished staining this side and this is the side that I haven't finished. It's old and tired looking compared to the other side. There's a huge difference. I'm also using this paint I picked up at the store. It's made specifically for painting over rusty metal areas. This will go on the areas of metal trim above and below the yakisugi. Here is the area of metal I painted. This is the area I have yet to paint. Again, a huge difference. I'm also going to stain these pillars above as well. I'm going to use that same ebony stain I'm using just a simple foam brush to apply it. I'm so happy to be finished with that exterior work. I enjoy doing interior work more than I do exterior work, but this was something that was very necessary. Now, at least my walls aren't going to dissolve. So that's a good thing. Of course, the house still needs a lot of exterior work, but it's not so pressing as that front part was because it was exposed to the elements. Next time, I'm going to move back into the house. I'm going to do more demolition on the ceiling as well as maybe start on my toilet room. I don't have a toilet, so that's kind of an important thing for me and I'm really anxious to get that room finished so I can go to the bathroom. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. pretty well. At first, you know, took a little bit of elbow grease to really push it into the wall, but once it's stuck, it stuck and then uh, it really went through. Um, my, my arm, especially my right arm, it's, it's killing me. It's just scoop and go, scoop and go. It was tough. Um, and then this arm I was using to kind of just hold on and make sure that I didn't slip. Uh, I did have my harness, but uh, of course I don't want to fall regardless. So using one arm to hang on for dear life and the other arm I'm slapping the stucco and going. But they used a non-galvanized 
non-stainless steel uh, bracket so of course weather comes and then you know they're holding up gutters so it's already designed to hold rain so the moisture just completely rusted half of them but uh, the nails still there so they're still there whoever put those nails up and put those old gutters bravo those gutters were never gonna fall down oh my god I can't believe it that saw is really heavy and uh, you know I have this uh, harness thing and I'm trying to reach over and I'm trying not to slip the evening tune <laughs> I don't know what the tune is, to be honest. <laughs>